What's up, y'all? It's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing this all matte burgundy maroonish looking fall look for you guys. I am like feeling myself, y'all, for real. And these curls is popping like it's a good day today. Okay, so I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below any other video requests you have for me. Make sure that you follow me on all my social media. My all my links for my social media accounts are down below in the description. Um, and make sure for sure that you follow me on twitter that's where i do all my polls for future videos if you guys don't give me requests i always make sure to do polls just so that if anybody is following me and does want to see something from me that they vote so make sure you follow me on snapchat i'm going to be doing a snapchat q a soon so if you guys have any questions send it to my snapchat my snapchat name will be here on the screen somewhere and it's also down below in the description so make sure to follow me there but that's all that i have for you guys uh, make sure you subscribe also yeah Photo, subscribe and we're just gonna go ahead and get right into this video so hope you guys enjoy and let's get started okay so I'm starting off by using the shadow here out of the morphe 35k palette I'm hitting pan I do not want to run out of the shadow because it is bomb I use it for my transition shade you guys know so I'm applying that into the crease and blending it upwards and now I'm taking this shadow which is awful more which is also a morphe brushes single shadow this is in the color rosewood it's so beautiful I love this shadow I've had it for a while and I never use it but I was like this is perfect yes it's just gonna create a great transition for that burgundy on the lid that we're gonna have so I'm applying this other shadow here. It's awful. Also a Morphe palette. This is the Jaclyn Hills favorites palette. That color was not showing up well for me though. Not pigmented as I would have wanted it to be. So I t I'm taking this black shadow out of the 35K palette, and I'm just slapping that on my lid as a base so that the color that I want on there is as pigmented as I want it to be. You know, you feel me? You feel me? Okay. So I'm taking the second shadow out of the Jaclyn Hills favorites palette, and I'm just putting that on top of that black, and it showed up a lot more pigmented but it was kind of purple and I wanted more of a burgundy look so I'm taking the shadow out of the Morphe 12 NB palette and I'm just slapping that on top and that was like it just gave me so much life it was lit because it was what I wanted like it's, it's rare that my makeup comes out how I want it but anyways let me stop talking I applied a matte um like beige shadow on my eye on my brow bone for a highlight and now I'm doing eyeliner this is the voluminous liner i think it's like feline liner or something like that by l'oreal love this liner it's a lot easier to go into lashes this is the eyler vegas nay grand glamour lashes which are freaking beautiful but they are so hard to work with and that's partially my fault because i did not trim these lashes i usually never have to trim lashes so i just assume i wouldn't have to no my eyes some i went off camera and did my face as you can see here i have an updated foundation routine coming for you guys so stay tuned for that but i'm just applying that burgundy shadow out of the Morphe 12 NB palette onto my lower lash line. And I also did take a, uh, some black shadow under there as well, which I did not insert into this video. I apologize, but I'm taking an e.l.f. coal liner and just lining my bottom waterline. My eyes was trying to play me. There was watering, but I was like, nah, not today. I'm trying to be great. Not today. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm putting on uh, mascara. This is the Luscious, something Luscious. I can't remember. It's going to be in the description for you guys, but um, I love this mascara. Use all the now I'm just going to be uh, sweeping this baking away that I have on my smile lines with this powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 360. So I'm just like getting rid of that baking and then also trying to blend everything else on my face together. So everything's cohesive and like gorgeous and flawless. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. <laughs> After I finish this, I'm going to go on to highlighting, and I'm going to be using this gold shadow out of the Lorac Pro palette. I've been loving this. I think you guys saw me use this in uh, my Chit Chat Get Ready With Me video. Um, uh, do you see that? Do you see that? Honey. I was dying on the inside. I was trying to contain myself on camera because, you know, I got I to gotta be professional. But inside, I was on another level. I was like, yes, bitch, you better motherfucking glow. So yeah, just applying that like everywhere on my face, like everywhere, because I want to be like a disco ball. Now I'm going to be taking this uh, blush. This is ColourPop's uh, Super Shock Cheek in Cherryo, and I'm just applying, applying this to the apples of my cheeks and blending that into my contour. You guys know I love blending my blushes into my contour just to warm my face up a bit. And after that, we're going to move on to lips. So for lips, I'm going to be taking this uh, ColourPop Ultra Matte Lippy in LAX. And this is a beautiful shade. Um, just applying this all over. Now, even though it's a beautiful shade, it wasn't as dark as I wanted it to be. Because I wanted my lips to kind of, like, 
exactly match my eye makeup so after I applied it um, I'm going to um, be taking a Ruby Kisses matte lipstick and it's a black one I'm gonna just line my lips with that and you'll see in just a second like right now so I'm applying this and these look these lipsticks are like really nice and you can get them at your local beauty supply so girl go save you some money go get you some lipsticks that are good quality they're good they're a freaking bomb anyway <laughs> I'm gonna blend this and this gave me the perfect burgundy lip like do you see that oh my gosh now I'm just adding some more glow to my face I'm gonna be taking that gold shadow from the Lorac Pro palette and just popping that in my inner corner and now I'm spraying my face with my elf makeup mrs set just gonna let that dry and we are done ladies i'm gonna do something to this hair because it's looking a bit ratchet but we done okay we done so this is the finished look guys i had so much fun doing this for you guys it's really simple and it's really cute like i look hella glam right do this tutorial if you do this tutorial not this tutorial if you happen to recreate this look uh, make sure that you post it on Instagram and hashtag makeup. And yeah, other than that, that's all I have for you guys today. I can't wait for the next tutorial. So make sure that you guys comment down below for any suggestions. And I will see you guys in the next video. Subscribe on your way out. I love y'all. Bye.